Right, back on again. This is the third small video. We'll all be joined together with very small gaps while I take photos. I've taken loads of photos here before now. Anyway, because Alberta is now no longer a part of the planning for this year, she failed the MOT badly. Um, very expensive to put her right, so she had to go, unfortunately. But I'm not, I'm not worried, I had real good time with Alberta. We went all over the country, Scotland a lot, from one end of England to the other. From Wales to East Anglia, Kent a lot, Norfolk. I did really well in her, had great time. Explored a lot, did a lot of family tree. In six years I had her. It's time for a break anyway. Otherwise, you, if you just do the same thing, although it is handy, because this is my next plan, even though I'm getting old. I'm 68 now. And I'm doing a pilot experimental camping trip. Hopefully, as soon as the campsite's open. And that means getting a train to Taunton, getting a bus from Taunton to Minehead, this is so I don't have to rely on others. And I can, you know, find my way. Because I've already planned different ways of getting to the Quantox now by doing Taunton bus to get, like West Bagbury, there's buses that stop there from Taunton. So you can't get anything from Bridgewater. These are future plans that I've been looking into so I don't have to be dependent on others and they don't feel they have to help because it makes takes their time up. So I've worked out other ways. Now an experimental hub, so you can't go all the way over to mine yet and do a big hike and walk all the way back. So I'm looking into purchasing a one-person tent with good waterproofing, light, ultra light if possible, because I'm carrying a rucksack now with a day's water in it and I'd have to do that plus carry tent, bedroll, sleeping bag, provisions. Now the idea would be, the idea basically would be to, oh, I bet I'll get tick birds up here, I'll bet you anything I will. Sometimes camp at a site for two days, say. Now, I don't know if I would do that with mine, Ed, um, with um, Porlock, because I've already done a lot there. But because, as far as I know, there's no bus from Minehead to Lynmouth, which is where I want to go, and I've got places I want to go en route. Um, as far as I know, there's no buses or anything. Now, I'd have to find out how much a taxi would cost, say, from Porlock to the village of Orr, because that's the Lorna Dune area, where there's also a campsite there. So that might have to happen. Um, you know, sometimes it might, it's going to be more expensive in many, many ways, not having uh, your own transport. But it's probably even out, I reckon. I reckon it'll even out. I don't really it cost too much from Poor Lock to War because it's only a couple of miles away. Yeah, it might only be two miles away. Depends on how stingy the taxi people are. Rather than me having to walk all the way to Colbone, and I mean, I will if I have to from Poor Lock, I would walk. Now, I'm not in too desperate a rush to do the coastal path from my Ned to Poor Lock. It's a day's walk. The bit I would do was the easier route, rather than do um, the harder one on that particular day. So that I can camp up at Porlock for the night, sort out my route, which might mean visiting Colbone again. And it also depends on whether the campsites are going to be open. 
Um, my priority at the moment is to look for a lightweight tent. Now, what they're saying is the one-man tents are very good, but there's no extra room really for like, it's mainly for lying down in. Um, which is what I'd want it for for one night. So, uh, they, so they've, they've sort of recommended a two man tent, so a little bit more room and not much heavier apparently. It's got a ground sheet and everything. Um, so I'm looking into that as well. I actually want to go and visit a sports shop where they sell this stuff when they're open so I can see. I want to see it. But not order stuff and then realise that oh that ain't gonna be any good. So there's I've got to start doing that because I'm trying to I'm hoping to do a pilot which is means walking with a bigger rucksack with this smaller one inside because when I park up somewhere I might want to do some like ordinary hiking um, without having to carry the big rucksack all the time. So, you know, there's that as well. But then you've got to watch out for thieves, and you know, there's always, there's always something that could get in the way. At least when you're at the van, you're locked up secure for the night. She's locked up when you go out for the day with all your stuff in it. So I have to take things like battery chargers for the phone, for the cameras. And I permanently carry the battery chargers around me so wherever I stop anywhere I can just plug them in. You know. So that's, that is plan. Now I said to Zara, I said, the next decade, which is going to be pushing 80, when I get, and I'm 68, but I'll be, a couple of years time, I'll be getting into my 70s. I've seen a lot of fit 70 year olds, so I know I can do it. I've seen them hiking. And uh, with their gear. As long as you're sensible. Um, so, I think I've got to do it in the next 10 years, this sort of thing. I'm not well off, so I can't really think about buying another vehicle, and I don't know if I want to. Higher end's expensive, you know, but it is something I might consider doing sometimes. <sighs> Higher end. And staying in a Premier Inn. That would be a deer trap. But it might be something you've got to do, you know. Um... So, you know, my life is full of things to do, inspiration. You know, I don't get bored. I just got to keep me off. Um, keep the muscles strong. That's why I mustn't... I've had a bit of a break building up some glycogen. Um, but there's no way I'll be doing big hikes at the moment in this heat. And definitely not cycling, but I'm hoping to fit a cycle in when it's not windy, not too windy, not like the last one I did. It was massively windy. It put me off nearly. Um, you know, a nice cycle, but not in the extreme heat. Um, I decided to walk today. So this is, would, have been, would have been a good cycle day but still quite hot, but the next three days are going to be hotter. So there's going to be, if I cycle at all, in the next couple of days, they're not going to be very small cycles. It could be three or four hours, but they're not going to be what I call excessive because of the heat. So I have to wear one of them hard hats, and I find they make you sweat, and they're heavy. Now, I've got a hat in my bag, for if I've got to walk in exposed areas a bit later. Uh, it only took uh, 
about 18 minutes from the time I got on the bus to the time I got off. I was over here in the village by 10. It's now 10.37 because I've stopped. I've taken photographs. I've chat with, the, with that elderly man. Uh, and I'm strolling. And the horses that were over there, they might remember me now. There they are. The white horses. Ponies. I think they're ponies because they don't look very... They're not above 14 hands, I wouldn't have thought. Hi, everyone. Having a good time? Oh, there's a bit of shade for you. That's good. Where'd you drink your water from? Hello. Do you remember me from before? Yes, you do. I can pass up here a few times. Don't I? Hey? Oh, you've got, you should have one of them hats on. Stop your flies getting you. Look at those three, look. Following each other, look. And they've got flies after them. So here we are. I think it's at the gamekeeper's lodge or some sort of house there. It's not, it's a quite a nice big farmhouse, really. And uh, I think they sell things there. They used to have like Great Danes. Uh, no, Irish Wolfhounds. I don't know if they still got them. They always used to come to the gate when you walk by. Yeah. So we're out and about because I've spent. The weather hasn't been good. We've had fierce winds, heavy rains. Really bad weather the last week. So for about a week, although I've been up in the wood perhaps twice for short walks, just to make sure the muscles are cared for. Look at you! Look at you! Rolling! That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah! It's lovely! You're beautiful! Oh, you haven't got COVID? Coughing like that? Bye bye then. See you again. Yeah, so we had awful weather, so I felt, you know, I've got to get out because at my age, you've got to keep the muscles moving. Because um, you waste, you start wasting when you get 70. Well, it's already starting to happen. I can tell from my skin that it's not quite as firm as it was. It's got a bit saggy in places. And uh, there's another one having a good roll. And you're having a good scratch. Yeah, oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Eh? They never come up. They never come up. They keep their distance. They got all this usually, they just obviously they're being regulated. There's the lodge over there, or farm. Uh, be interesting to go in the wood. I haven't been over here for it could be a month now. Not yeah, it might be less than a month. I can't remember because I can't use this route a lot. I've uh, since Wells Cheddar Bus has been difficult to get on. Um, and very infrequent, and it don't run at weekends either. Now, the one two six at the moment, it's not even running at the weekend. The number five over here runs every hour in the week. Uh, I think the last one back to near Weston, where you can get on at uphill, is about six o'clock. Um, if I say I got. I have got to walk back, don't forget. I say I got back to uphill. I mean, I've always had to walk back. It's not really far to where I live after that, but sometimes you get to uphill and I think, oh, I'll just get on the bus. That, even though it don't take you five minutes. Sometimes when you're near the end like that, you get, you do get weary, you know. Yeah, these little plants have grown up because they only planted these well, within the last couple of years, or last year even, and they've really grown. If we look back at the old videos, 
Right, anyway, folks, look, I'm kind of, we're going to be coming up to the Hutton Wood, the nice little bit that we were allowed in. Um, I've done quite a good introduction. I won't be coming, I won't be, unless something really turns up, I'm taking photos all the time, but I won't be videoing now until we get to the bridal path lane leading to the bridge which I haven't been down for about 10 years okay so here we are this is going to lead me into the wood now the wood's all over but the permitted bit over and out <laughs> 